Every three seconds, someone's in need of blood. And actually, if every person that could donate blood did that two to four times a year, the need for blood would drop dramatically. My name is Elizabeth Harmon, and I'm going to talk to you about why you should be donating blood and how to get over your fears or maybe some conflicts that you have with donating blood. So the very first thing is knowing if you're healthy or not. Many people say that they're not healthy enough to donate blood. The Red Cross came out with their two requirements is that you have to be 16 years old and healthy and that you're 110 pounds. These are the only two requirements to donate and that's super important. So people that might not feel like they're healthy, they are healthy enough to give blood. And it's always important to ask. They will ask you certain health um, questions and if they find that you're not healthy enough then that's okay but it's important to not just assume that you're not healthy enough take that extra leap and find out if you are even diabetic patients can donate as long as they're healthy and they're doing well with their insulin so it's important to know that you are healthy and that you can donate the next thing that people um, have a fear with is being scared of needles and this is something that is completely understandable it's a common fear that people have and so being scared of needles the Red Cross also came out with three these three tips on how to get over being scared of needles the first one is taking pride in your donation when you're taking pride in your donation you're going to be able to focus on who you're helping because you'll be helping three people out of that one donation. When you're focusing on that, then you're not gonna be as scared of the needles because you'll be focusing on that. The next part is knowing the process. When you know the process, when you know what's going on, when you know what's gonna happen next, then you're gonna understand that it's okay, it's okay and that you don't need to be scared of needles. So maybe you need to go in and you need to watch it happen first or go with someone else for the first time and then donate. And the last one is relax. Bring a book, listen to music, have a staff member talk to you. Staff members know that many people are scared of needles or scared of the process. And so if you tell them beforehand, I'm scared of needles and I'm kind of nervous about this process, then they're gonna help you and they're gonna walk you through it. So it's super important to just be very straight up and don't be afraid to ask questions. Now, if you decide I can't do it, needles just too much or scared of the process in any way, there's other ways that you can donate. You can donate through time or through money or just even encouraging others to help donate. So it's important to keep those in mind as well. Now, the biggest thing that I think we all struggle with is finding time, finding time to fit in the things we want to do. It's so hard. So it's important to know about the donation process and how long it takes and where you can fit it into your schedule. So the donation process is four simple steps. There's a medical background, a physical, a donation process, and then there's snacks. How great is that? So the full time is going to be 45 minutes and 10 minutes of that is the donation process. So if there, um, if your clinic is ahead of schedule, then it might be less than the 45 minutes because the 10 minutes of it is the actual donation process itself. So it's important to make it fun. Maybe you're doing it as a date night or maybe you're doing it as a big group of people going to donate maybe before you go to dinner or out to ice cream. Make it fun. Do it on your lunch break. Do it. Take time work off, you know, to go donate. So just find where you can fit it into your schedule and then you'll be able to help three people out of that one pint of blood that you're donating. So it's super important to find that time and make it fun. So just in conclusion, I hope that you have been able to think about where you could fit donating into your schedule, maybe getting over that fear of needles and knowing that you very well could be healthy enough to donate. Because when you're donating, you're helping little boys like this little boy here who has cancer and is receiving donation, blood do donations. So when you are donating blood, 
you are helping close the scare of the every three seconds that someone is in need of blood. Thank you.